Hi friends, today we will talk about the classification of beta blockers and I will tell you some tricks by which you will be able to remember the classification within the next 5 minutes. So we begin. We know that the beta blockers are either non-cardio selective or cardio selective. By non-cardio selective we mean that they act on both beta 1 receptors in the heart and beta 2 receptors elsewhere in the body. By cardio selective we mean that they act mainly on beta 1 receptors in the heart. So we first have a look at the cardio selective beta blockers. So the mnemonic here is that new exclusive beta blockers are acting mainly cardio selectively where N stands for nevivolol, E stands for esmolol, B stands for bisoprolol, B stands for bitaxolol, A stands for acibutolol, A stands for etinolol, M stands for metoprolol and C stands for celiprolol. Now we move on to the beta blockers having partial agonistic or sympathomimetic activity. In this case the mnemonic is simple and it says contain partial agonist like property where C stands for celiprolol and cartiolol, P stands for pindolol, A stands for acibutolol, L stands for labetalol and P stands for penbutolol. Now we move to the third category that is beta blockers having membrane stabilizing or local anesthetic activity. So the mnemonic is simple again and it says possess local anesthetic or membrane stabilizing property. In this one P stands for propranolol, L stands for labetalol, A stands for acibutolol, M stands for metoprolol and P stands for pindolol. Now we will look at all the three types in a single slide. So to recapitulate, cardio selective beta blockers can be remembered by the mnemonic. New explosive beta blockers are acting mainly cardio selectively. Drugs that partial agonistic and sympathomimetic activity can be remembered by the mnemonic contain partial agonist like property. Drugs with membrane stabilizing or local anesthetic activity can be remembered by the mnemonic possess local anesthetic or membrane stabilizing property. Now there are some observations which will help us to remember them in a much better way such as acibutolol appears in all the three classes. So we can place acibutolol in all the classes without a second thought. Next labetalol and pindolol appears in two classes shaded in grey that is they have partial agonistic activity and membrane stabilizing activity but they are not cardio selective. Third metoprolol also appears in two classes that is it is cardio selective drug and has membrane stabilizing action. We can remember this one by the letter M. M metoprolol starts with the letter M and membrane stabilizing word also starts with the letter M. So metoprolol has membrane stabilizing action. And last propanolol the oldest member and the prototype beta blocker only appears in one class that is it has membrane stabilizing or local anesthetic activity. We need to remember that of all the beta blockers propanolol has the maximum membrane stabilizing action. Thanks for watching. If you find the information in this video beneficial, do like and share and do not forget to press the subscribe button. Thank you.